Okay, so the next thing is to tell the machine where this piece is located, which means I'm gonna bring this head over here and calibrate it to the depth of it. I'm gonna tell how far away, how high up the block is. And then I'm not gonna, I might actually give it this point and then move it over to here along the x-axis. This will give me, it actually can't tell me, I'll probably order it right to this point exactly and then move over the x-axis. Because I don't wanna start cutting here, I wanna start cutting over here. So let's hope, go ahead and do this. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is change the end mill. That's not the right type. So we're gonna need our wrenches. Get these. I labeled the side that has to go onto the CNC. Uh, this is the top, there's a little bolt here on the collet. The small one goes through there, and then the big one goes along here. And then you separate them. Righty tighty, left to loosey. Actually, sorry, you pull these, you squeeze these together. Okay. Do it once or twice till it gets loose. Take the whole thing off of it one more turn. Okay. Then you can do this by hand. Take off that collet. And that's what this looks like. This is actually aluminum cutting collet or end mill. I'm going to take this out. And this is a quarter inch end mill, or sorry, collet. This thing um, is tapered. You can kind of squeeze these. And whenever you screw this thing on tight, it actually squeezes the, the end mill. That's how it holds it. So I am going to use this. I'm going to put it back up here. Um, usually, I kind of blow that out, get the dust out of there. This thing does come out, by the way. It, it just kind of snaps into place. I'm going to screw it in there. I need two hands for this. Kind of getting a little bit, not, I don't want to loop tight it yet. I'm going to go down. Now I'm going to pick my end mill. All right. I need a uh, filmer here. Hold on a second. All right, I'm looking for quarter inch end mill. And I'll be doing, uh, this is an up cut. I'll talk about up cut, down cut in another video. This is a quarter inch diameter, two and a half inches long uh, up cut bit, which is good for this. I'm gonna put this in here. You never go to the very top of it. You don't want to like hit, hit the bottom. You want to basically bring it down enough. I'm cutting through an inch and a half of this. I need to make sure I have an inch and a half below the, the collet so it doesn't run up and hit this. Let me get a tape measure and measure this real quick. All right, so <clears throat> got to double check. Normally you don't need to worry about this, but since this is a pretty deep cut, make sure we have an inch and a half at least coming down. Inch and a half at the minimum, it probably should give yourself another quarter inch of extra room, but you also have as much as you can up in there to secure it. So I'm gonna have to give it an inch and, an inch and three quarter. That'll be a quarter inch of extra, but still be up there um, three quarters of an inch in the collet. I'll tighten this now, my hand to start it, and then I'll do it for real. I'm gonna separate these, pull them apart. Pretty tight, you don't need to like really overdo it but you do want to make sure it's in there secure. Put these back down below. Okay. And now, the, let me go back to focus. Now the end mill is in the collet and we have enough room to cut through a piece of two by four. Okay, without hitting, without jamming the collet into the wood. Okay. Step one, we did that, good. Now what we need to do is tell this where, bring this in line with the front left corner of the workpiece, which is origin, make the origin workpiece. So we need this part right here. This is a calibration block. We can, this is a magnet. We can put this with that little, little grooves right there. This can go over, meant to go over a corner. So we're gonna flip it upside down, put it over this corner, 
we're gonna bring over, jog over. Oh, sorry guys. Jog over the, the spindle, until it's over top of there. Um, bring it down a little bit. Let me go get my mouse, my control. Kind of bring it kind of close, not super close. And then come over here and we're gonna go to Auto Z, focus on there, Auto Z touch plate. Okay, I only use two ones. This will be only the Z axis. This will tell, I want to tell it to how tall or how high up it is off the material or actually want it to touch the material. This will be the zero at the uh, stock top. And or I, or I do this one, which I do the bottom left, this will do the X axis, the Y axis and the Z. So I'm gonna do this one to start and what you're gonna see. And then whenever I do this button, whenever I hit that button there, I'm gonna have to keep my hand on the E-stop because this end mill, there is a chance, first of all, we need to connect this magnet up onto the collet. That way it makes a circuit. That's how it tells whenever it hits this brass plate, it knows it's, it should recognize that it hit here. It's gonna stop and go back up. And it knows that this distance from here to the bottom is exactly two inches, exactly. Okay, so then it'll know it's two inches up when it hits here. Okay, and you also got to kind of keep short, make sure that this piece of wood or this block is kind of being held there. So it's going to, I'm going to hit start, it's going to come down, then it's going to come off. Then it's going to want to go up to the Y axis first, then it's going to come back, and then it's going to come up and hit against this bumper, it'll hit it, and then it's going to back off. It's all based on electrical currents. And also, <clears throat> you got to position the flute, if I can focus this, position the flute when I do like the Y axis here. I gotta put the point of the flute facing that direction. There's a specific way, because that's the widest point of the cut. And then when I come towards the Y axis, or the X axis, I'm gonna tilt that flute. So the very tip of the flute is now touching, or gonna be touching here. So let me go ahead and go through this whole process. All right, I will click this button right here. And you can see it's coming down. My hand is on the E-stop, ready to go. It should stop, and there it is, good. Now it's gonna prompt me to orient the flutes in line with the Y axis. Okay, I'm gonna hit okay. And I did it very quickly at the last second. I'm gonna orient this in the Y axis there, or sorry, in the X axis. Hold this up against it. You can touch this as it's moving, it's okay. Okay, when it's all done, now, it knows that this is the, because it kind of knows the dimensions of this. So actually it knows that it is right there. In fact, so it'll say that this is now finished. And in fact, if you say, um, go to the work XY zero or XY zero, it'll go to, so I'm gonna hit this button right here. You can watch it. It goes right there, which is right over top of that corner in this direction right over top of this corner. If I were to bring it down a little bit. I don't want to get too close. The center of the end mill is in line with the origin. It's the center, not the edge of it. It's right at the center, okay? Right at that corner, it knows. And also knows how high up it is. And that's all labeled right here. So I went to the X and Y zero. So I actually went to the zero and the Z is about a quarter inch above the wood right now. If I were to move this thing backwards, maybe like an inch along the Y direction. Now you can see it went back about an inch along the Y direction from the workpiece origin. Okay. Um, and if I go left or right for the X, you can see that will change in the X direction. If I want to go back to the origin of the workpiece for the X, there it is, it's back there. Okay, so now it still thinks that it's over here. I'm gonna close this G code. I'm gonna go load it up again, because now it's been kind of changed. I'm gonna go find the candle holder in the chamfer first. 
Ooh, I just remembered something very important. Um, I am not going to begin the x-axis here. I want to actually begin cutting like over here. Because I remember I gave myself some room to screw it in. So let me go ahead and move this over. Enough that I'm not going to hit that screw there. Because if you hit that screw, then you're in trouble. Um, so give yourself some extra room. Okay, that's fine. And what I'm going to do now, since I moved it over on the x this is actually where I'm going to call zero. So I'm going to go zero that X. And now that's my zero, zero. And this is now the new origin because I moved it over manually. Don't forget, if you're going to be using this block, it's good to use it. But if you're not actually, if you're having extra wood here, um, you got to, you got to change that origin. Okay. You can take this thing off, put it back in the holder. Watch the cord, stick the magnet back up there. Put this keyboard back down because we are ready to go. All right. You can see now that this little candle holder is, you can zoom in, it's gonna just do the chamfering and I'm like, oh shoot. You know what I just realized is uh, I put in a flat end mill, but we're doing the chamfer first. Okay, so let me just pause this and I'll do a high speed uh, I'll just do it really quickly on regular speed.